In all, we've seen more than 30 deadly auto ped crashes so far in 2022. It's a trend that local EMS uh, says is troubling and largely preventable. It's heartbreaking. Overnight, yet another deadly auto pedestrian crash in Austin. Around 11 Friday night, an adult was struck by a vehicle on South Congress, south of Ben White. A bystander just made a, a turn around a corner and found the patient laying in the bike lane. Medics performing CPR, but the victim was pronounced dead. At 34, Austin has seen two more deadly pedestrian, bike, and scooter crashes so far in 2022 than at this time last year. And that's concerning, considering 2021 saw the most overall deadly crashes in Austin ever. 100% of collisions are 100% preventable. About two thirds of this year's deadly auto ped crashes have happened at night. Just under half have been hit and runs, like in East Austin two weeks ago. A pedestrian fatally struck while crossing Airport Boulevard at Oak Springs Drive, the driver taking off. In August, Weston Holtz turned himself in two weeks after fleeing the scene of a crash that killed 70 year old Sandra Nielsen in the Circle C neighborhood. We've certainly had cases where there have been auto pedestrian collisions and the driver has left the scene um, and and 911 doesn't get called until that next bystander just happens upon that person. So we don't know if that's been minutes, hours, days. Sometimes it's a case of people walking where they're not supposed to, like on I-35 near Cesar Chavez in August, where two vehicles fatally struck a person. We have seen an increase in auto pedestrian collisions on major thoroughfares. They've just essentially tried to play Frogger across a highway. Um, 999 times out of a thousand, they are not going to be successful doing that. In some cases, the drivers are drunk or high. Lindsay Smith charged with intoxication assault after a June crash on the Mopac service road in North Austin that killed an off-duty Poteet police officer who was on foot and Edith Tavera Camacho arrested in August after hitting Jixing Chen on the 35 service road near Palmer Lane and kept driving with Chen on the hood. So your eyes might see that pedestrian crossing the street in front of you, but it's gonna take a lot longer for that message to make it from your brain down to your foot to slam on the brakes. Medics say both drivers and pedestrians need to do better to turn these statistics around. So for pedestrians, especially when they're walking at night, they need to be very vigilant. Now on the driver's side, um, you know, number one is pay attention to what you're doing, right? No distracted driving. 